What's good, people? It's your boy, Gray the Dude. Thought I could jump on here real quick, um, cause I went to Rite Aid again. I went, I went yesterday, but I'm gonna tell you why I went, cause I was going to, I was going to be finished couponing this week, except for maybe going to the grocery store, like going to Carver's and stuff. But um, so yeah, so I went to Myers. First, I'm gonna talk about Myers. I didn't coupon in Myers, but I had bought a space heater from Myers like a few weeks ago. And, it, and ever since I had the space heater, I thought something was wrong with it because, you know, it was like sometimes you had to shake it for it to come on and different things like that. So I went ahead and took it back because it was a store. Sometimes it blows cold air out. So I took it back. I didn't have the receipt because I lost it when I lost my last little binder with my rewards and stuff in it. But when I called, they said it was cool. I could bring it back and they can look it up if I paid for it with a credit card or something. So I went to Myers and I uh, went up to the desk and the first associate that was helping me, she was like, well, you could just exchange it for the same thing. Um, and then this other this other associate who was behind there, she normally gives me problems anytime I'm in there, you know, because I normally have about 80 coupons and, you know, and things like that and a whole bunch of rain checks and stuff like that. Or if I go to ask her for a rain check, it's a problem because normally... You know, the, the max amount of items you can get on a rain check is 12. And normally I want 12 of whatever item it is. And if the kids are with me, I get they get rain checks too. But, you know, she'd be trying to call the manager and be like, you can only get one rain check per household. And I'd be like, well, they don't live with me. And she'd be like, well, I'm going to have to call the manager. And I'm like, well, what do I have to do? Bring you a lease or something showing that they don't live with me? You know, are y'all doing, are, is, is that what y'all doing now? You know what I'm saying? I got to bring some proof. For a rain check, which I mean, I always get my rain checks, which are four, twelve, four rain checks, you know, is what I get. Because it's four people with me. We all need them. So anyway, so now while I'm talking to the first associate, asshole associate, you know, I, that's what I'm going to refer to her as. Well, no, I'm not. You know, the second associate, the one I had a problem with, she's over in the computer looking at something. So she comes back and she was like, well, we haven't sold one of these and over 30 days are you sure you got it from her in a like a smart kind of condescending way like you're lying i just caught you on the lie i'm like yeah i bought it from her yeah i bought it she's like well all we can do is exchange it for another one so you know as i'm walking away she's on the phone with a manager or something that's what she always do because she's just nasty for some reason so i go and i look to go get another one and they didn't have no more so that's why they ain't sold none in 30 days because they didn't have none on the shelf so I'll go back up to the, you know, the counter to let them know that um, they didn't have any more. Because I was just going to try to, I just wanted to get the store credit so I can just buy a better one instead of getting the same one. So when I get back up there, I'm like, well, they don't have no more, so what do I do? She was like, oh, well, um, now this is the second associate. She was, she, This isn't even the one that was helping me. The first one who was helping me, she just didn't know nothing. Because she's like, well, I'm not sure. I don't know. Everything was, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm like, well... I was, I'm like, well, are you sure you work here? Are you sure you're not actually supposed to be bagging, you know, groceries or ringing people up instead of being back here? So the other associate is like, well, um, actually, those were recalled last summer, so we're just going to give you a refund. I'm like, okay, cool. And then she goes, but the refund is going to be on, on a gift card. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, no problem. And, you know, she's kind of mad because she, she didn't want me to have this refund, right? So when it's time for me to get the refund, she gets happy again. She was like, oh, well, your refund's only going to be for $11. I'm like, well, why is it going to be for $11 if the product was recalled? Shouldn't I get the full amount back? She said, yeah, but we don't know how much you actually paid. So you're going to get the last sale price of it. And these ain't never been on sale for no $11. Come on now. Stores kill me with that sale price stuff. These was never on sale for $11. And, um... And then I'm like, plus, if these was recalled last summer, why was y'all just selling them on the shelf in December or November or whenever? I either bought it in November or December. Why was you selling them in November or December? She couldn't answer that. So I'm like, you know what? Because I really didn't want them to look up the credit card information because I have so many different cards. I went ahead and pulled out all my cards because I have different checking accounts and things like that. That's why I have so many cards. I went ahead and pulled out every last card. I'm like, well, you know what? We're just going to have to scan each one of these cards until we find which one I used to pay. So she was upset about that again, and she had to scan all of them. And when she got to the last one, that's when they found the purchase. 
So I got back $17.99 with the reason being I didn't get the full prices because I used a coupon for it. So, you know, I use a coupon for everything. So I was cool with that. I mean, it beats eleven dollars. So you know, I'm, I'm. So I got him a refund. She wasn't happy again, but she was apologizing. I'm like, you know, every time I come in here, there's a problem. It's a problem when I use coupons. There's a problem when I get a rain check. It's you know, but I wasn't about to let it spoil my day. So since I got the money back, I'm like, you know what? I'm not really trying to pay no cash for another another space heater. Let me go ahead and go to Rite Aid. I know you're like, can you get to the point? Let me go ahead and go to Rite Aid since I got all these up rewards and see if they have some. So I go to Rite Aid. The girl was like, yeah, they got some. Well, I was there. I had my little coupon binder thing with me. The little, the little small one. I'm like, well, I'm here. I guess I could. Let me see what I got in here so I can get some more stuff. So I went ahead and got some finish, which I I, I, I forgot. that the I didn't even know, actually, that the finish is a part of. Well, no, I, I didn't know. The finish is a part of the resolution rewards program. So I got six of those. I had six $1 off coupons, and I had six video value coupons. And they're $2.49. All the other stores didn't have a mark. I knew they was on sale. I wasn't sure if they was buy one get one free because they normally have them buy one get one free. I knew they was on sale, but I didn't know that was two forty nine. So since they was two forty nine, with both the coupons, makes them forty nine cents a piece. So I got six of them with the space heater. And when I paid, you know, my little thirty seven cent because that's how much it ended up being for everything. Um, I, I noticed on the bottom of my receipt it said I needed another fifty. Well, I spent so far I spent fifty two dollars towards the resolution rewards program. So I'm like, well, cool. I can go. I can get another forty-eight dollars, and I, you know, we'll get another twenty dollars. Cause I totally forgot. About, well, I totally forgot about the vitamins that I got. Cause after I got the vitamins to get my ten-dollar diabetes thing, my ten-dollar diabetes up reward, I wasn't even gonna worry about you know what the balance was. Cause I figured it would have been like seventy or eighty dollars. But since I got these finishes or whatever, vitamins, I guess, added up to fifty-two dollars. So I today I made up a little scenario. I went back today to get some more stuff. And I got four more finishes and four more of the pro nutrients and three toothbrushes. The pro nutrients, um, you know, it's a video value coupon plus the the the, the coupon that was in the, the paper. But I didn't have no more of those. I had printables. I had some from Centrum's website because they have coupons on their website. You can get up to three coupons on their website. Just keep hitting the back button. Um, there's video value coupons for the Kogay Optic White Toothbrushes, $3 video value coupon, which makes them a 26, 26 cent money maker. And the finish, of course, is 49 cents. So I got all of this. Subtotal ended up being, first my subtotal was 47 cent. I, 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 I paid 47 cent plus the tax, but uh, that's because at first I tried to use some up rewards. And now something's wrong with their computers where the up rewards are scanning. But the, like if you like if your subtotal is only seventeen cent or something, your up rewards are scanning. It's beeping, like it's taking it, but it's really not taking nothing off. And there, are, in the little credit card thing that also tells you know like your amount and stuff, it's not updating when they take the coupons off. It's updating on the on their system, but not where you can see it. So I think, I think they're doing something with their computers right now, because the computer got the freezing up and locking up and everything. So I thought I had to buy another item, so I bought the little caramel. I mean the little chocolate covered cherry thing for 33 cents to add that on there, which made my subtotal 47 cents. But after they figured it out and I just paid cash, my subtotal was actually only 10 cents, which is why, you know, the up rewards were taken and it was, you know. So my subtotal was 10 cents for four vitamins, three toothbrushes, and four finishers. I got back $24 in up rewards, two $2 up rewards, and a $20 up reward for the Resolutions Reward Program. So this was it. Sorry for the long, drawn out story, but I just wanted to you know, explain to y'all why I actually went couponing today. But, you know, I'll probably end up going to my too. Nah, but, nah, but for real, I think I'm done. I mean, Rite Aid had a lot going on. Um, everything is on the blog. Everything is posted on the blog. So, um, but it's in separate uh, posts because I know it's a lot of new new couponers. So, I don't put, like, big transactions on the blog. I just make, make single posts so that, that way it's easier for people to understand and stuff. Um, but yeah, but I, I posted the finish and the uh, Colgate Optic White and all that, the coupons and everything, um, all, all the coupons that are available. Um, there's also uh, finish coupons on finished website. If you haven't printed them already, you can print some. They have like dollar off coupons on their website too. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, y'all. Thank you for watching and thanks everybody for their support. Uh, thank you for watching again. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.